In Learning Plan 8, we start dealing with uh, payroll. Payroll, as you can imagine, is very detailed but I wanted to mention that QuickBooks has th basically three options for you when it comes to payroll. Uh, first off, you can run a payroll, you can use a QuickBooks payroll service where you would load your time and record your employee data and QuickBooks would upload it. They'd take care of filing your W-2s, 941, all your related payroll reports and direct deposits to your employees. The other way is to run uh, payroll through QuickBooks. Uh, you would keep track of employee time and records through the payroll and you would download the various payroll charts from QuickBooks and you could run your W-2s and all your employee reports. You'd be responsible for filing those, whether electronically or by paper. And then the third way is called after-the-fact payroll. So basically, you're using an outside service or you are cutting the payroll checks by hand and then keying them into QuickBooks. That is what you're going to learn throughout the chapter is what they're calling an outside service. It's another way to refer to it as after the fact payroll. And what you end up doing is, uh, let's pull up an employee here. Let's go to the employee center. And here we can look at, say, well, we got Allison Fox. Uh, and she's got a payroll check in here. And when we look at this, I can tell this is an after-the-fact payroll, and it's a very loose one, I might add, um, in the fact that they've got the gross wages and the payroll liabilities. Payroll liabilities are what the outside company told you that they withheld in Social Security, um, federal withholding, and state income tax to arrive at a net check of 907 from the $1,000 that was her gross wages. Um, the reason I call it kind of a loose type of uh, payroll is the fact that when you look into the chart of accounts, they've got something here, let's get this out of the way, called payroll liabilities. Now, generally what you'll see set up or what I would set up would be under payroll liabilities, I would set up another account, account new, it would be a other current liability, continue, and that would be, for example, your social security tax. We'll just use FICA. It'd be a sub-account of payroll liabilities. And account number can't be left blank, so they must have those turned on. One, two, three, four, five. Save, close. And now you can see payroll liabilities, and then I have FICA underneath it. I would also underneath this have state withholding, uh, federal withholding, state unemployment, federal unemployment. That way I could track each of my taxes individually, but that's a matter of uh, my personal preference, I guess, or an accountant's preference. Um, throughout the chapter, once again, it's, it's payroll, so it's a very detailed operation. You'll learn how to adjust uh, payroll checks, how to correct payroll checks and it's a actually a fun chapter so enjoy it